Hello and welcome to Zach 3 TV. Today we are racing the round of 16, race 2 of 3 of 2023 NCC Rose playoffs. Holy crap, we have two bush cars starting on the pole. Did not expect that. One of them being the uh, pole sitter being uh, Rubina Gonzalez. Not only did he come in being the highest pointing playoff driver at the moment, uh, he will get another 10 points added to that. Uh, to be locked in, he just needs to be 43 bow. 43 points above the point cut line after this race, and it'll be easy going at uh, Iowa, which is next week. Uh, Cup Series is going to Rockingham after Richmond. Uh, when they do uh, Richmond, and they'll have Rockingham after. Um, we've seen last week that uh, Moonman was able to get his first win. He's starting fifth today. Um, earn that. A lot of these other playoff guys, they need to start coming in clutch if they can. If not, you could see some goofy systems with the playoffs and whatnot, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, Dark x Rain, do you got any first thoughts? Yeah, my first thought is that Gonzalez did win the poll, and as you said, I think with a top 5 or a top 10, he'll be automatically locked in. And then, starting on the third row, in the I want to say the, what, middle energy car? That is what uh, Thunder Thunder Twenty Four fan. I think probably maybe a top ten and a couple of more left late. He could be locked in as well. Let me and check then... the standings here. Um, he's actually only uh, three above the cut line right now. So just a solid day here next week. I don't think he has the opportunity to get locked in today unless he takes the lead, leads some laps, or wins the race. Okay, so he's in good. So he's in good position right now to be at least above the cutoff line. So that's good. I say fair position. Three above the cut line ain't too comfortable. Where he's starting out today is a lot more comfortable than uh, in the back. Yeah, for those guys below the cut line, like featuring Frank, who is known as Raw Pace. So he needs to at least pass what? At least to be in the top fifteen or twenty, be from the bubble. I don't know the exact math, but he needs to be ahead of more playoff drivers and not to really be in good shape for next race. You never want to come in on the low side right now. He is on the low side, so he just needs a solid day today. Yep. Yeah, so you can make no mistakes. Then after that, I think Brian Nelson should be in a good spot as long as he doesn't stay out of trouble. Brock Nelson is currently, uh, he has 10 points above the cut line, so not a huge cushion at all. Just needs a decent day to today and next week. So maybe get some gain today. That way he doesn't have to worry too much about next week. Yep, and then the guys, and I think, Sun, Dan, and Nimrod, they should be okay. Well, as long as they don't get into trouble, but see, you know it is. Uh, they have some leeway, specifically Nimrod. Some Dan is only five points above the cut line. Nimrod is 27. Nimrod's in a lot better shape, so they just need solid days. But I think some Dan may want to go for a little more on the aggressive side. We'll see what happens. Nothing's set in stone. But uh, Iowa is definitely where these guys will need to come in clutch if they can't today. Especially guys below the cut line like Potato Boy, Aztec, Love It, Shred, and Chilton. And the guys above it also have to defend that as well. Uh, Cactus, you got any thoughts before we get the call to engines? I guess he's AFK. Um... 40 laps today, uh, no double flower restarts per this is a track that has some AI issues so we can't do the double file starts as, as we usually do because of that issue. That would be the same rule that would apply at uh, Bristol and Martinsville and a Bristol Dirt tracks like we did Bristol Dirt a couple times but we'll see how that goes. Anyways, two Bush beer cars on the front row. Uh, like I said, 40 laps, and uh, we'll let the command go ahead and roll. All right, I'm back. What's going on? And Arnold Schwarzenegger calls us to the engines. That's interesting. 
Uh, about to go green. Cax, you got any thoughts before we head to the start finish? Uh, you got to be consistent. Hopefully, pit strategy is going to help you out. If there is pit stop in the way, nah, they're not pitting today. They ain't going to. Well, just hope for the best because passing is going to be very rare today. All right. Oh, we already have to restart line, and we already green as because that was just a nose pull off. Nice so he's to turn number one. Oh wow, I actually washed up the track. We may have a pass for the lead here. Oh, it's gonna be close. Gonzalez versus. Oh, that was close. Wow, I'm the middle of the bushes. We actually have a pass for the lead. That's surprising. Kepper, Kepperman. I believe took the lead. Oh, we're under Still yellow. Side by side. Are we under yellow? Oh. I'm seeing yellow lights. Yeah, we're under yellow. Uh, so the first caution of the day happened on lap number two. What happened? I wonder who. I wonder who choked this time. Was not expecting that. Like Patrick Star. In the back. So with this double follow restart may cool us down. We may that might have just been a hiccup on the Oh Jimmy's slow. Oh, they didn't even get what to the start to finish line. Jimmy? This is way in so the he back. Gets by... What it? Did uh, hit the wall know? and uh, LJ Toledo had to hit the LJ Toledo barely avoiding that playoff driver. Uh, I think it was someone else too. Yeah, uh, yeah, LJ Toledo, I think just those few though, but uh as the field that bunches up there, but uh so far, I don't think we have any issues with any of the AI. I think I don't think the damage is much of a concern, so everyone should be able to finish all right. Dang, it's right one of those start check racing issues where they get the bump and run into the wrong corner. So new leader, not Rubina Gonzalez. Uh, he hasn't even led a lap actually. The 98 of Cap Kepperman has taken it. Uh, Roach Racing rookie um, joined for the joined pretty late into the season, getting some runs for. Uh, is a uh, ride next season when he goes full time for Rich Racing. But Urbina Gonzalez still has that uh, 10 point bonus for the pole and is looking very hot right now to be locked into the next round. Only driver ever being so right now. The closest to him would be Nimrod, who is starting uh, mid pack, is currently mid pack, so he's looking to salvage a day here at this point. But we'll see if passing is actually a thing because we actually had a pass for the leads presently. Um, we will let the, uh, I'm going to let the uh, pace laps go usual. Uh, I'm not going to turn down any because this track is, seems to be a bit fidgety, a bit more fidgety than I was expecting. But two Bush cars each have had their um, cars in the lead. None of little, only one of them is a little lap, I do believe. If my calculations are correct, double zero was not successful in leading lap one as the 98 was able to get a run on the bottom on the initial start. So we'll just let this pace lapse go through. Again, don't want to mess up the AI. Kappa leading his first laps of his NCCRS career. Uh, he's got a teammate right there, a uh, couple spots behind him, Craig Pockers. This is Roach Racing, by the way. Uh, they have two other cars. It would be the uh, 66 and the 63. 63 is someday in the playoffs. Not very doing well right now. And then... Marker Leonard uh, in 28th, just a few positions ahead. So surprising the, that the 63 is the worst of the team right now because they're number one in the playoffs. But we'll see what happens. Uh, looks like we'll have another restart here. Hoping that wreck is isolated and we don't have a wreck fest because that's not what this setup was made to be. And so far, based on our playoff drivers, they're currently second. I believe that it's six, seven, and eighth, and maybe twelfth. Uh, tenth for sure. Oh, sure. Okay. And sixteenth uh, and eighteenth. So Potato Boy having a good day. But uh, maybe well, we'll they're in this position at the moment. Yeah, only one right now that has had been involved that was involved in the accident a little bit was uh, LJ Toledo they have a little bit of leeway from a good finish at Charlotte never good to lean on that though so they'll be a slight deficit after this race if they don't find some track position or get some passes going as we are going green this time again double file start 
or no, single file start because this track is very fidgety with double file. Uh, the good old fashioned single file start. And this also will cool down the field to hopefully get a little bit more spread out or at least to the point they don't wreck on the first lap under green. Or if we get one anyway. So weird seeing two push cars run one two. It's cool. It's cool. I won't deny. Let's crazy. see which bush will take the lead and let's so we're now back on the green. So far so clean. Oh, Alright, double Gonzalo's zero. Gonna go for the bottom. Double zero's gonna run. He's gonna want it back. Oh boy, here we go. He's gonna actually have passing. That's it in deep. deep. Oh, he doesn't have well. Watch the 98 up a bit. 98's there, gonna but... get the lap. Okay, so he goes on by Ant over Gonzalez. Alright. Still good. I don't think it's over yet. No, but we actually tense battle for the lead right now between playoff driver Rubina Gonzalez trying to lock in and then fellow Bush sponsored driver Kappa Kapperman. Very intense here. Double Not zero only edges that, ahead. For fifth as well. That's uh, one of the drivers. I think the 83 in the, back on the line. 83 in the 71. Little note here, this is a very important battle for this 71 car. They are the only car, full-time driver in this field, who has yet to score a top five this season. Almost spinning out off a four there. Oh. But back to the leaders, this is this battle I don't think is over yet. Um, I think, yeah, Gonzalez does got the lead now, so he was yeah. able to make the pass. And it looks like Sundan is getting a couple of spots. Really? You in the background. Dang, but I think he's, he's, no, he's actually lost yeah, a few spots. He was gaining ground, but now he's losing it. Yeah, he's not running well now, but LJ Toledo, I believe, is gaining ground. Unless they fell back Ooh. after the start. Now we got a few cars in the back, not running well. A couple of them hitting the wall. Into the wall. Uh, Come on. Yeah, they're wall riding. Toledo will send it in deep. So that's a position for Toledo. Oh. Oh, big, big, what a hit. Big hit there for the double for the zero four. These two cars very very battling out. Back to the leaders. Double zero still has teammates for second right now. Debating on oh, no. debating on uh, manually DNF and the well. We'll see how that goes. I think they still have pay. They're just not up to the draft. Yeah, it's battle for second here, heating up between Craig Pockers and Cap Capperman. Oh, sends it in deep, washes him up. We got Ian Styles. Gets a bit loose though. Yeah, here we go. Oh, still getting loose at 40, going sideways. Yeah, battle for second as the leader, uh, Brendan Gonzalez, pulling away a little bit. Oh, 46 did not have the run off the corner. We see this lap traffic oh, up here. Ah, uh, this lap traffic is a slight concern, I will say. They are yeah, not running the wall riding this point. At uh, least they're not in the way. Yeah, they're not in the way, so. Yeah, just let them go. So they're not actually in the way. Ah, uh, okay. Toledo was about to go a lap down, so this is not going to be a good look for him. Yeah, LJ Toledo about to go a lap down here. Man, these yeah, guys. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're just wall what, at they're this the point. only cars doing it. That's a little odd, I will say, but. It's yeah. clearly not working. At this point, they're just getting out of the way. They don't want to cause any accidents. So. Uh, well, I guess I guess you're right. Yeah, they aren't causing any issues, so I guess they're all right not for now. It's really though. weird, but I guess I can't really put a rule against it because yeah, if it, these guys are not like causing any issues. Looks like the 63 of some day and may have some mechanical issues. Oh. Uh, yeah, mechanical yeah, issues it looks like for the 63 car. Oh, crash in the back! there's our caution. That would be the... That is... Awesome. That's going to be it for the 93. His... We were talking about... We the were a little concerned about this. So, what happened here? Thankfully, this was... Okay, this is actually mid-pack, but did it catch up any part uh, playoff drivers? Now, we've seen the... 63 have to go to pit road. I'm assuming mechanical issues. Um, 
So the money three was a buy, so he oh, bounced yeah, off he the got wall. That wall a ton. He got loose and then got into the O seven. Seventeen. And then the go. seventeen just. I think that's really it. Everyone else was fine after that. That's gonna be it for the ninety three though. He is done for the day. We're gonna go ahead and call his race for not only causing that accident, but being too far off pace and hitting the wall. So that's gonna be his race. Now let's see what happened to the 63. So the 63 uh, said he had a uh, tire failure, the 63 did. So this caution oh, wow. was very timely for some Dan, as he is currently, let's see, is he only one lap down or two? He is two laps down. So some Dan, um, I'm gonna give him a wave. So I'm gonna give some Dan, well, he is not the first car to lap down, so I can't really give him any more laps. So the free pass, free pass, free pass is going to go to LJ right. Toledo. So Toledo's the O4? Yeah, he's going to get the free pass. So Rubina Gonzalez okay. um, is going to get the laps led here. And as I think I can safely assume that uh, Rubina Gonzalez is uh, going to... Uh, be locked into the round of 12 at this point. I'm gonna go to our uh, pit road real quick, make sure I got a uh, thing, something turned on the EXC that would send lap cars to the back. All right, that is true. I will give LJ Toledo's lap back, um, second two laps into uh, the run, um, just to be safe. Because at this point, if he stays in the lead, he's not a man to get locked in. Yeah, we were just talking about LJ Toledo being in danger of pitting there. And that mechanical fuel for the 63, we see it was timely. It, it did uh, prevent him from losing more spots from pace, but in the limelight, he he wasn't... Th those lap cars going a lap down there were really not beneficial to that at all. So, uh, as once we get to the, one of the ghost sign here, which is going to be soon... Uh, so, so, we're gonna, so the kind 04, of for the 04, this is very good, but I will see if he wall rides anymore. He probably has some damage, but uh, the 63 needed yeah, those yeah. guys to be on the late lap. The 17, a lap down from, uh, I believe he had to go to pit road with his issues. So because of that, the 17, uh, and I think the 07 is good, but we'll keep an eye on him. But the 17 is on watch for getting manually removed from the race. 93 was already manually removed. But the 07 yeah, really just spun out. That. So I think the 07 is good, but just the 17 is currently on our watch for being manually removed from the race from damage protocol. So we're going green this time. Go ahead and turn off our standings. That way our ticker can shine a little brighter. There's the 04 is going to go to the back there because he's a lap down. He will get his free pass um, once we go green. So meaning he'll have to go from the back and try to get that um, track position he can get because you can't lose any more you can't lose any positions if you're the last car in lay lap so well, for a good day for him, but some Dan with that tire failure according to the chat that is very costly for him do they actually have South Frank since those two guys are struggling but Frank. I think he needs to be in the top Maybe the top 25. Well, we've had 63 having those issues in the 04, just frankly not being good at this track, apparently. Just yeah, fine. so... Like if guys having issues, so we'll see how it goes. Well, and we're back to green again. As... No, you're talking you about can easily say Gonzalez is locked in, as long as he keeps it clean. Yeah, um, I but mean, he needs, to, he needs to finish up here, though. He needs to get a good finish in the top, uh, up here... Not outside the top 10, and he, I think, safe to say, locked in. Heck, he could win it. And we're talking about no, Frank Shilton. Uh, he is 22nd. He has regained a lot of spots. Uh, we're actually, no, he has actually lost a few spots since the initial start of the race. He started 21st, so he's trying to get around Marker Leonard on the top, but it appears he's going to get passed on the bottom by Pox Cozart and then Shred right behind him. He was 15 below the cut line coming into this race. We'll see how that goes for them. Yeah, because he's trying to run the high lane, but... 
Back to the leaders, it though. In those. Maybe the long running wheel. Yeah. And the battle of those bush bush cars are definitely heating up. Yep. And that's the same who's going to be the representing the bush beer. Yep. This race has turned out much better than I was expecting. I'll say no more to prevent jinxing, but we, like I was saying, that 71 car, the only full-time driver in the field who has yet to get a top five is currently running six. One position is all they need to get that first top five of the season, make something of the year. They're last in standings right now, but they may try to grab some more before they call the year as the 29 appears to be having some mechanical issues. Huge issues for the 29. What happened to him? Or her, None Nimrod. In the Nimrod. Nimrod. They're three wide. What happened to Nimrod? Somewhere they got dam damage. I'm not sure where. I think they were involved in that accident somewhere. So playoff implications for Nimrod being now laps down like Sumdan. So we've had three playoff drivers have issues. LJ Toledo, Sumdan, and now Nimrod. Nimrod has a very distant points cushion, though, so they just need a solid day at Iowa just to be all right. They, they didn't want to use that up, but it's not all doom and gloom by all means for Nimrod. Yeah, without that hood, they're going to be like an aerodynamic disadvantage. What? It looks it like looks the like 04 and the 25 are still having issues, but as long as they stay out the there? way and don't cause an ish a wreck, they should be all Who's right. Who's going to send it? Oh. I mean, you guys are literally battling, and... Yeah, they're battling for position. Oh, oh there. The leader doesn't look too happy. This is not what needs to happen right in front of the leaders. They are wrecking each oh, other yeah. right in front of the leaders. Yeah, the leader oh, right in front of the double zero! zero. They wrecked the leaders! Huge crash! And that is a big caution. Oh, no! Big crash on the front straight! The oh, there goes. Nobody can move! Playoff Messi, drivers involved. Riley, Chart. Oh, wow. That is a. Rabina Gonzalez. Rabina Gonzalez. I don't know. We'll get the okay most not, laps but... led. He'll have something to show for the day, but this will be the wreck of the race. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Huge crash. There's a bit of road raging on LD Toledo's part to start off this. Yeah, that's it. That's 25 stuff. That's just road raging at that point. What happened? What? Is, I think the, what are these? It wasn't just the twenty-five. It was also Toledo, for sure. But like, you I can't get, be fighting with a non-player driver like that in twenty-five. He wasn't uh, too happy. Uh, regardless, I, I can't pin the four oh four on that. That is uncalled I mean, he for. literally. You took out I mean, the leader. What the heck? Moon Man, Thunder, can just got barely yeah, evaded. I mean, let's just they look at how many how many playoff three. drivers are involved. That so this this is the double zero, the O four, the I mean the twenty nine allowed down fifty one seventy three teammates. They have the 16, well, they're not playoff drivers at all, but the elf, well, the five. Yeah, not, the 497 were all right, and then what was that? 17 of Byron Webb. Oh, is... the 17. I think the 17 can slow down in time. Yeah, we've well, this seen. this is definitely he, some he has, big rotation for the playoffs. That's possible. I, I want, if that was any more of a fault than the 25, that would have been a full-on suspension. He's out of the race. All the guys that were causing those issues are now out of the race. I mean, still... the 45 was already, was already done, but... Rabina Gonzalez is still in the race. All right, I got to get rid of this 25 somehow. I think he's coming in, but... Nah, he keeps coming in. But... I can't just blame it on the 25. And yeah, he's done. So that was going on to it as well. Because did you see that happen before? Yeah, he I... got turned... He, the 25 got turned on purpose. Like, you can't do it when you're a playoff driver. I think, uh... AI issues, so... That's something. Yeah. Does, uh, issue, so, surprisingly, but... let's see a look at our DNF list. So, the... Uh, oh. so we, uh, that will take out the 1704. Nimrod's still in the race, just several laps down. Uh, Santa Messi, playoff so, driver... 
54 Anthony McClure, the 11 of Vince Freeze, 16 of Riley Gores, Playoff Driver Shred. Some Dan is still in it, I think. I double might check be. that. I know Nimrod's still in it because I can clearly see Nimrod back there. Uh, some Dan's still yeah. in it, yeah. Still that running. A little bit of damage, nothing too big. 48 star of damage. I don't think Nimrod was involved in that accident. Uh, the 30 was is done. The 72 Aztec Lovett, who was below the cut line coming to this, is done. Potato Boy, who was below the cut line coming to this, is done. He is having a great run today as well. Thunder 24 fan is done. He was barely above the cut line. Uh, Moon Man's done. Brock Nelson's done. Uh, the 3 is probably going to be done here soon. They're going green this time. Um, free pass is going to Sumdan, so he's, he's going to let those guys buy, but, uh, back to the pace car. We're going green this time. 98's your leader. Double zero still in it. Crossed the line, but has damage, so he's definitely a, one to keep an eye on. For sure. You know, you know that the kind of plan driver did exactly benefit, that actually benefits Frank. Cause I don't think he's going to be at the bottom of the uh, cutoff line anymore, since he's avoided a big wreck. So, so it's a downside for others, but it's going to be beneficial for others. As we're now back green. And you see that double zero has a lot of damage. Oh yeah. Now, he was trying to defend, but we knew got uh, two teammates battling for the lead. Hopefully, he doesn't cause a wreck in the back. Oh, but he is very far off pace. That's going to slow him down a ton. Next highest running so, car is that's that's actually uh, in the playoffs. That's uh, 37 of uh, Genghis Khan. As uh, we're actually two to go here, so if we get another yellow at this point, the race is do the race is over. Wow, this race just flown by so quick. Coming to two to go next time by looking for a Roach Racing one two finish here. Benny Gonzalez looking to salvage a top 20 as he is falling tons of positions right now. I don't even let's see. Yep. Two laps to go here oh. at Richmond. Throwing the white flag next time by Cap Capperman, looking for their first win of their careers. 25, who is disqualified on the is on the back stretch, uh, failed to be disqualified. So I don't know what to think of that. Well, the race is over with at yep. this point. Well, one, one lap, lap to go. go. Next flag ends it. He's going to sit into turn number one and two on the back stretch. And your winner, Apple coming off three and four, will be Cupper Cupperman. Yep, at an eventful race at Richmond. That was insane what happened there on that. that oh, other than that, the wrecks weren't that bad, but that one wreck caused the big one at uh, Richmond. Uh, no one had to be, well, except for the 93-25, and uh, I think everyone, I don't know, not a lot of people had to be DQ'd. Uh, let's pull up our standings. Cap Kapperman is your race winner. Second, Craig Pockers. Third, again, just Con highest finishing playoff driver. Then fourth, Mikhail Aguero. Fifth, Space Guide. Second highest finishing playoff driver. Sixth, Azrael Drummer or Dreamer. Then seventh is Zig Zagoon. Uh, third highest running playoff driver. And then eighth is Ryan Cole. Ninth is Patatenha, who will not be able to get their first top five of the season today, but Solid top 10 nonetheless. Melinda Jones, Victor Nunez, and Rubina Gonzalez will salvage uh, 17th. Like so so okay. he'll uh, come out with a day. I led the most laps, so he, I'm confident, is locked into the next race or next round, but unfortunately, he got screwed out of a win by the 0 4, so I'm sure it'll be some choice words there from the two as the zero four battling a lap bladdling as a lap down in front of the leaders putting them into the wall and taking the double zero out of the win contention uh that's definitely controversial nothing i will intervene in from a series owner standpoint because i don't want to affect the playoff situation with the zero four he'll have to he'll probably be in a uh, tough situation next week We'll see how he does. But a lot of other playoff guys got screwed over by that too, so I'm sure there's a lot of guys not happy. Specifically speaking, the 73, who 
did not finish. The four Frank Chilton salvaged 20th, so call me crazy. He's going to be above the cut line after those four cars, but Shred yep. is going to have Shred, Love It, Potato Boy, Messi are all going to have their work cut out for him after this race, and so is Thunder 24 fan and Brandon Nelson. Uh, so it's going to be a rough, rough race for those guys to try and make it in a last-ditch effort, but Unfortunately, the 0-4 of LJ Toledo pretty much screwed everyone over there on that one accident. Uh, very unfortunate. Yeah, when tempers flare, you get accidents like this, and I well, guarantee there's going to be a lot of guys going to have a big conversation after this race. Yep, LJ a lot Toledo. Of unhappy drivers. LJ Toledo is uh, definitely not going to be having a lot of fans after this, but uh, I'll leave oh, that yeah. to the I'll leave that to the roasters themselves. For me, Dark X Ring, Cactus King was also in here helping commentate. He left a little bit. Uh, probably had to go do something. But this was NC Soros Richmond. Not a bad race overall. Just that one big one killed uh, any hope for being a good one. And uh, oh, yeah. 40 green flag la or 40 laps. Um, the Bush cars dominated. Unfortunately, one of them wasn't able to see the f finish up front, but he gets most laps led. So, Rena Gonzalez, I can almost safely assume he is locked in. In fact, I think I can safely assume that Rina Gonzalez is locked into the round of 12, so congratulations to that. Other than that, some of those guys are going to have a rough time uh, getting in. We'll see what happens there uh, next week at Iowa, which is a little bit more chill track, you could say. But Richmond here was something. Cup race here. Seeing that the racing was here, I might be able to cook. We may have a decent race at the Cup Series, but definitely not lap car stuff because 40 45 ai you're gonna have issues so i'm pretty sure that's why we had the wall riding but uh cut out oh, what yeah. i could and made it as good as i could best i could get out of it so uh see you next week at iowa and thanks for watching